I remember it was very foggy and we were driving very fast. I remember everything up until the moment of the accident. I was in a coma and they finally did a CAT scan. I said to my doctor, what's wrong with me? And my doctor said, you broke your neck and you're paralyzed from the neck down. You will never move, you'll never walk, and you'll never get off the ventilator. It was just totally devastating. When I got in the accident, I was 30, and my, I have five children, and my oldest was 15, and my youngest was five. Grace Elizabeth, my youngest, started learning to do cursive writing. She was in second grade, first or second grade, and she didn't know how to do a cursive G. And I remember very clearly, she's like, Mom, I don't know how to do a cursive G. So out of frustration and desperation, I said, well, give me a pencil and put it in my mouth. So she put the pencil in my mouth and put the pad up to my mouth and I did a cursive G and spelled her name like that. Then I'm like, oh, this is a good way to sign my name. So, because I used to sign my name with my hand with a special splint and it was, it was bad. So then I started doing my signature on my checks, on documents, paperwork with a pen in my mouth. And then I, I believe God all of a sudden just instilled in me the gift. And the next thing you know it, I started painting these flowers. And it was just flowed out of me. And it was, uh, it was something that I could do independently. I could pull up to the table if someone you know, had it hooked up. And I could use my arm and grab the paintbrush whenever I wanted. So I didn't need anybody to set me up. It was something that I could do while people were cooking or cleaning, and it was an independent thing. Most of my pictures are happy when you look at them. Some of them are sad. Um, some of them have tears. I always have a part of me that's sad, I'm paralyzed. There's no if, ands, or buts. Ready, Fred? Yeah. One, two, and three. Rush, you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is my <what> time. <laughs> you guys laugh like this, but not all the time. Ready? One, two, When she first got in the accident, my grandma actually didn't let me go down to see her because, you know, I was little. She didn't want me to hurt her or anything. But I remember sneaking down at night when she was sleeping and cuddling with her when I was like five years old. So that was always something that I remember. The accident definitely made us closer in a way because, I mean, I'm always here, always helping, always... But if I could change it, I don't think I would because I like her being my best friend, so I wouldn't change it if I had the option to. Definitely good to know that I have a strong person that I can look up to and get advice from 
because I know that she will always have the right advice and because she went through it, so that's good. And meanwhile, my ex-husband husband was um, released from the hospital approximately two weeks after the accident with no therapy. We had no insurance. So I had to get a legal separation for me to go on Medicaid, and he had no insurance. My ex-husband would come in and out. We tried to get, we probably got back together maybe five or six times, thinking each time that, oh, this is it, and he would love on me and be awesome and come around, and then he would just go right back to his wicked ways, and I'd have to ask him to leave, or he would leave on his own, and he, he couldn't handle it. He could not handle the devastation of me in the chair. He couldn't forgive himself, and again, he didn't seek forgiveness in the Lord. The years, the years that have gone by have been hard. Very, I, I come off as a very positive person, which I am. Frustration, anger, yes. sadness, happiness. My motivation is glory to God. That is my biggest thing is because He has given me a gift. And I feel that I should use that gift to inspire and to um, show people that no matter what happens, good can come out of it. Because if I'd never had an, an accident, that art would never have been there. Um, I try to teach my children that you can do whatever you set your mind to do. And then if you have a gift, you should utilize that gift. My other motivation is beauty of the earth. I look around and I see beautiful things and I want to paint them. And, it, and, and it's an expression, it's therapy for me. It's a way of letting out my emotions and my, um, what I feel.